Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I know I mentioned you guys a while back that my washing machine was kind of giving me fits. It's a Maytag. It was over 25 years old. Basically, and I already tried to troubleshoot it, it wasn't ringing out very well. So I'd have to put it on a second spin, which isn't very good to do because you're wasting a lot of water. Well, because I bought those other appliances, I had to kind of wait and I was dicking around with it and it just hasn't been ringing out very well, which means it takes longer for the dryer to dry. I didn't want to end up with a situation with a full tub of water and no way for me to empty it. And so it was over 25 years old. I needed to get a new one. So I went to Lowe's and got one. In the second part of this video, I'm going to show you this machine. This is the good news. This was on sale. This particular machine, it is a Whirlpool high efficiency and it cost $596. It was $796. And the good thing is, is it's not computerized or it doesn't have much type of computerization. They even recommended to me, if you have a choice, don't get some of the ones that have more computer in them because if something goes wrong and you're under warranty, they may not have the parts for it and it may be a long wait. So that's what he mentioned. He said, try to get something that has less computerization with it because then there's less likely less things that could potentially go wrong. So he did give me that advice. Lowe's, I ordered, got it from Lowe's. I looked to see what was in stock in the store and had the washer within three days of me ordering it. So I want to say that was $596. Yes, I buy a five-year warranty. And so uh, that costs, I think, a little over $120. I'm still glad I buy the warranties. They give me a peace of mind. I know a lot of frugal people don't. That's okay, too. So I wanted to share that. One of the things I did that's very different, and I'm going to show this to you in the second part of the video, I actually bought a high-efficiency machine Two things I want to mention is this particular washing machine doesn't have the agitator in the middle what, and just has the big drum. And I kind of I heard pros and cons about that. If any of you have ones with the agitator or without, I'd like to know your opinion of which one you prefer. I definitely want to hear about that. What's good about it, though, is I can fit a comforter in here. I can put bigger things and it holds a lot more. And it's using less water. The only thing I found out is you have to use high efficiency uh, laundry detergent. Because if you don't use high efficiency, it has more suds and it's using less water and it won't, it's not good for the machine unless you use it. Well, this is the good news. You guys know I use, most of the time I use Tide many times. Guess what? This has an HE on it. I didn't even know that. So I already have the proper... Uh, what I call uh, detergent for it. So that's really good. But I'm very pleased with the price. I wasn't ha wanting to have to get one right now, but I really did need it. Great customer service over at Lowe's. And just to let you guys know, no, it's non-sponsored, but I've got my three appliances from them. And the good news is I got them all within a timely fashion. And the people that deliver them did a great job setting them up. They make sure they work. I'm very pleased with Lowe's. And anytime I need an appliance now, I'll go there. Now, on the second part of the video, I'm going to show you what the inside of the machine looks like, just in case you're interested. So I'll see you in a second. I know this sounds weird, guys, but this machine's so pretty. It's, I love the blue on there, but this is the Whirlpool. It's less computerized. It's H-H-E. It's very easy to use. I've already read over the instruction booklet, but I wanted to show you what the inside of the drum looks like. I mean, basically, just spin it around. Um, hey, if we our, water, our uh, shower doesn't work, we could even hop in here and shower off. But you can fit a lot of stuff in here because it doesn't have the little what I call spinner in the middle or the agitator. So I am liking it so far. I really would love to see this machine last 20 years. Do you think it do you think it might guys? Let me know. But what's good is it doesn't have much computerization. And so I'm just liking it because I'm going to be able to put larger items in there that I used to have to take to the dry cleaners. So this is my new washing machine. It was $596. I felt like that was a very fair deal. And so let me know what you guys think and uh, what you think of the machines are you pro agitator or are you pro not agitator and just having a drum? Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.